So here is a quick little video. We're going to be painting the red part of the GTI grill black. Now you can see the red trim along the bottom. We flip it over. You can actually remove this red part from the grill. There's lots of little clips all the way around. Let me turn this way. Here we go. And you can release these. I've got a little just a sharp tool or a screwdriver, you just have to be very careful not to break it and sort of lift up the black plastic to release these clips. Release them here and then you can pull them out and just work your way along until it's fully out. And then we're going to sand it and then we're going to paint it black. And then yeah, and then we'll let it dry and put it back on and show you how it looks when it's done. Right, so we've just been sanding it. And we've got the 600 grit. I wanted to show you this because you can see the difference, hopefully, on the camera between the areas that I've sanded here, which are quite matte now, and then moving into here, which is the glossy part. You can see the reflections on the bit I haven't sanded. Now the reason we're sanding it is so it rough, roughs up the surface so then when we come to paint it, the paint's actually got something to grip onto. If we painted straight onto the red gloss without doing anything to it, the paint would just flake off and you see that on a lot of bad paint jobs. <clears throat> so you can see how much red's come off on here. Just some basic 600 grit. It might also have been easier to do this whilst it was on the grill, but I decided to take it off because I didn't want to sand the actual grill itself. You can see those little glossy bits there that we've missed, so still a little bit still to do. But yeah, just try and get along all, this, all the, the whole surface, top and bottom edge as well. Right, so we've, the sanding's done. We've got our paint here. We've given it a good shake. Also use the hairdryer just a little bit. Not crazy heat, but just to warm it up slightly just because it is a bit cold outside because it works better at room temperature as opposed to if it's cold. Giving it a good shake. And then we've used some alcohol to clean. Right, I've also put it on at a slight angle on the ground because with the spray can, if we were spraying it directly from above, the paint doesn't like to come out the can very easily. So it's better to hold the can as upright as possible so the paint won't splatter if we're trying to do it like that. So it's better upright like that. So that's why we've raised it up off the ground instead of just being flat. Right, so the bottom of the grill is now painted and we've put it back on the grill. And now it's on the car. To give you a little quick look at how it looks, we've also swapped the badge over we basically had another chrome badge that we've wrapped in carbon fiber. Carbon fiber vinyl, not perfect, but it looks quite nice. So that's with that, but yeah, the black looks quite nice. And the honeycomb, we use the GTR honeycomb grill because it matches the honeycomb on the bottom grills on the cup bumper. So a little update, this is another cup bumper that I bought. Second hand, you can see it's not perfect. A lot of the paintwork is slightly chipped and we've taped where it's sort of got structural damage because it was on a track truck car so this is going to be repaired and restored at some point but we just wanted it on the car for the time being once we've finished the smooth bumper which is nearly done and that video will be released soon as well once that's finished so the smooth bumper will eventually be on the car with the magnetic number plates but for now this is what we're doing for the time being Another thing we've done as well is we've put some eyebrows on the headlights, a little bit of vinyl, a little scratch there which is slightly annoying. But yeah, the eyebrows look quite nice, just a little subtle change. Another little thing, thing we've done is the wheels. Might be refurbishing my current ones with silver, but we've got some BBS Montreals, ordered some center caps for them as well. So they look quite smart. Slightly bigger tires, so they fill the arch gap a tiny bit more. So, not too bad, that's without lowering springs. But yeah, eventually we're gonna go back to all silver, I think, for the wings and the bonnet. Still got them, so, but yeah, that's how it looks. And then we've got this um, Blue Motion rear balance. We've got a repair where we had the exhaust cut out here. It's cracked here slightly, so we're gonna um, tape it, and then we're gonna sand it and paint it the same color, because this is reflex silver but we're gonna paint it in the blue motion silver like we've done for a few other parts. So we've got the, the door trim and also we've done the jacking point covers for the blue motion side skirts and we're gonna 
got done the back of the rear badge as well. Also, as well as this, we've also got the GTI rear balance that we're going to sand and we're going to paint as well, silver and then the bottom part black. Similar to this one, so then we can choose which one we want to put on the car. Just thought this would be a nice quick little video. Little guide is just beginning, doing little things, little painting, little details, and it can make quite a nice difference. As long as you do the preparation in the sanding, cleaning and then painting, the paint will last a lot, it will last a lot longer. Haven't put any lacquer on it though, you could do potentially. Gives a little bit more shine, a little bit more protection, but I haven't bothered in this instance, but nice little mini painting tutorial, hope it helps. So it's the just beginning of painting, we're going to be showing you more painting when we paint the smoothed cut bumper as well, and then more when we repair this one as well, but yeah. Nice little detail, hopefully you found it helpful.